Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so, a recap I suppose on fly we've done before, but uh, hopefully in better quality video this time. So, uh, this is the Cascade, which should be instantly recognisable to any salmon fisherman and has accounted for tens of thousands of salmon since its uh, conception. So, uh, we're going to tie it tonight on a double. This one happens to be a Partridge Nordic Opie double. This one's a size 8. So I'm going to take that away and put our vise, our hook into the vise. Okay. So for the thread, I'm going to be using this uh, Vivas 8 stroke O in black, which I find to be a quite a nice, thin, strong thread. So I started off just back of the eye here and then I'm holding the thread up at an angle and what happens then is my wrap comes over it'll slide down the, uh, the thread and should help me to get that even bed as we go. Right so first things first we're going to put on a little tag on this fly and for this I'm going to use uh, this uni extra small silver I'll tie that in on top and wrap back until I'm sort of halfway between the barb and the uh, and the point of the hook and then I'm just going to wrap this backwards and usually the legs of a double assist with this because the t the way they are angled they'll help it to slide up tight to each other. Once you put on a few turns put it between the legs over the top and then I'm going to wrap these forward rather than having blunt cutoffs and that'll because we have a tinsel and floss body so that we don't end up with uh, with bumps. So tail on this fly is a mixture of yellow and orange bucktail. So some people will have preferences on the mix of it but generally I'd say 50-50 should be fine. So if we have a mix of, of the two together uh, what we do then is some people put that into a hair stacker and make sure that it's uh, very blunt ended. Personally I prefer to have a little bit of natural taper to it. So just take the bunch and roll it between your finger and thumb and that'll evenly mix the whole thing. It'll sort of keep it together as well. And what we're going to do is go one, two shank lengths roughly and then transfer hands. You notice I'm starting to tie it in fairly far forward here. And then what I'll do is I'll hold it up and wrap backwards. And because it's held up on top then it should Stay nice and neat up there. So this bit then here at the front, what I want to do is lift up these tag ends and come in at an angle, cut them down, and that will create us a little bit of a taper at the front. Check no fibers out of the way. Okay. So rib is going to be the same, the uh, fine silver oval or round or whatever it is. So I'm going to start it up here. I'm going to flip it over to the far side and hold it back as I wrap back to meet the tag. And the re 
reason for that being to me this is where your first wrap of tinsel should begin at about four o'clock or so three to four o'clock uh, on the clock so the far side of our shank right body so the body's two-part body and the first part i'm going to use is this uh, holographic silver medium tinsel Take a length of that and tie it in here. Now I'm tying it in about two thirds of the way up, and we'll see in a second way. And then I'm going to wrap backwards, roughly touch and turns. It doesn't matter that much on this layer, I would get it as close as you can, obviously. As you come to the back, make sure that the last turn just hopefully covers the gap in your between tinsel and tag. And then come forward so the as you're coming forward then even if you do miss a little bit of a gap because there's a silver layer under it you're not going to see it wrap this up tie over it and fold it back and then we're going to trim the tag ends So, uh, front part of the body then, we're going to use black uh, rayon floss. So I'm just going to wrap with my thread back to the point where I want this to happen. Now you can go 50-50, or you can do a shorter front section. I think it looks unnatural with a short rear section. So we're going to tie that in and then wrap backwards to the point where we designated and then come forwards tie in fold back and tie off Then we're going to wrap our tinsel rib. So one, two, three, four, five turns. Tie across it, flip it back, tie it in. Right, so for the wing on this fly, I'm going to use a black fox mask. To me, this is the best material you can find for making wings on this style of fly. It's soft, really easy to work with, nice taper to it. Just looks a lot better than anything else. So, I'll take a little bunch of that. I'm just going to pull out the shortest under fur stuff. And then I'm going to offer this up to the flay. So I want this to be uh, coming back and joining into the tail to a certain degree. So it's going to be longer than the uh, the body. So maybe by a half again or so. So I'm just going to measure that for length. Trim that off. Set it up. And put my couple of thread wraps over it to hold it in place and then I'm just going to run a little bit of my varnish on a couple of centimeters of the thread and hold this back and just wrap over those cut ends rid of the excess make sure you don't get any into the hands that are touching the materials so as you may have noticed I have no extra flash in this one i just want it fairly plain although uh, you could always have added crystal flash into the tail some of them have crystal flash even coming under the wing and others have seen it with over the wing as well but uh, i think we're flashy enough with the tinsel body as it is so finishing this fly off we have two hackles so we're going to have a yellow hackle and this one i'm going to use cock hackles so we're taking a 
car cackle and I'm going to double that. Now I do have a techniques section on my channel so if you want to see how to double hackles uh, go over there have a look it's one of the most popular videos that I have on my channel so having doubled it over I'm going to tie it in by its tip now if you're used to doubling your hackle while you wind it do that or whatever suits yourself but I find that winding uh, an already doubled hackle or tying it in by the tip like this gives you a much more controlled neater hackle so I have one turn in on the very last bit of stock just to catch it turn over the bend and then I'm going to put on probably two turns will be enough I would think and when you come up to the second turn then come in through the gap fold that back Hackle. This happens to be a hot orange hackle here. I'm going to put one of them in front. Same thing again. Strip off the bits we don't need and double the hackle. Take out the tip. Tie it in by its very tip of the stock. Flip it back. Tie over and then wrap. Just to hold it in place, I'm stroking it back, pinching it, and then holding the uh, hackle stock in place with my left hand. So, uh, proportion wise, it depends I suppose how orange or other ways you want your fly, so that was two turns, if we go for a further three one, as I said you get a, a more striking orange front to it. So, as with all these sort of things, patterns are there to be played with. And then just going to fold everything back. And wind over that bent stock. And now we can cut that off or snap it off. And that is our fly tied. We're just going to flip it over and cover any gaps in the head. And when we're happy with it, then we finish the head. it so varnish it with is uh, Celere Clear so this is uh, Celere Clear Fine I'll put a coat of that on just with a needle here That nice thin salier sort of penetrates the thread wraps well I find and uh, when it dries in then we'll put on a final coat of uh, Sally Hansen's uh, hardest nails with nylon or you'd use a black if you prefer to do that um, but either way that is our Cascade Tide it's said one of the most famous of all salmon flies so hopefully you like what you've seen hopefully it uh, helps you in some way and if it did, give us a like, subscribe, check out all the other videos on the channel, tell your friends, and until next time, tight lines, and thanks for watching.